So hello everyone and welcome to part 2 for a day in the life of a CRA and the journey is still not over as CRA has a lot of job to do still let's find out So in the first part we have seen how a CRA performs visit preparation what is the cra travel and we have also performed a on site monitoring visit and we have seen the activities in this particular session we will focus on the post visit activity what are the challenges faced by a cra and how do you go about a cra career so the post visit activity for a cra involves preparing the monitoring report and the follow up letter and mentioning all the action items that the site should perform post visit activity of a cra starts from compilation the cra would compile all the observation action items queries from his visit report preparation and whatever he observed during the visit the cra would prepare a meticulously detailed report because it is a clinical trial and you have to focus on each and every minute detail the report will also include as much as 40 different fields and i am not exaggerating this because this report is very detailed it includes all the activities and all the observation that the cra has observed right from the date of the visit how many hours did you spend who all were present during the visit what were the observation and there would be section after section where the cra has to answer whether he has reviewed those and what were his observations the cra also has to prepare this report within a very strict timeline so the industry standard is within the 10 working days so you have to submit the report in the 5 working days from the end of monitoring visit and you have to get the approval within the 10 working days so the creation the submission and the follow up is done within a short period of time so it is a time bound activity post the re- report submission there is a report review and big players like icon ppd paraxel they have a particular team who reviews the report and maintains the standard so there is a tedious back and forth from the reviewers and once all the queries are resolved the report is sent for the approval once the report is approved the cra prepares a follow up letter in this follow up letter he will mention all the pending action items the queries the observation and he will share it with the site and once the report is shared again the cra visit starts all over again again the cra has to visit the other site so post visit activities are not essentially that he is only preparing report for that day it is also possible that he is traveling to another site so i want you to clearly imagine that these are concurrent visit and cra has to manage his reports and maintain a certain level of quality so whenever a cra prepares a report so it is essentially a detailed flow of work it is a detailed observation and he has to maintain a certain quality because his observation is one of the critical criteria of his job okay so these are the post visit activities the one of the most important activity is getting yourself certified in clinical research so if you are someone who is looking to create a career in clinical research and go into that amazing cra role then go ahead and call our friends at clinical aim research institute and pursue this amazing certification they have their admissions open uh, and they are soon going to uh, start a new batch so go ahead and contact them on this uh, given number and create a successful and beautiful career in clinical research so now you have seen what exactly cra monitoring looks like what exactly travel looks like what does he has to prepare now let us understand what are the challenges because a cra is essentially a very critical position where he has to deal with the site where he has to deal with the employer expectation he also has to focus on sponsor expectation as well as he has to focus on his own career progression also so imagine that this particular person has to look at various stakeholders and he has to form his career also so let us see what are the challenges in particular cra role 
now let us understand what are the CRA challenges. So a particular CRA typically handles on an average 10 to 15 sites across three to five different studies and protocols. So what I have explained you in this particular series is just one site, one protocol and one study. A CRA is assigned 10 to 15 different sites, three to five different studies and protocol and he has to maintain a fine balance between all the study activities, requirements of the studies and the protocols. So it is a very challenging, dynamic and multi-point activity role. Again, the biggest challenge for a CRC, uh, I pardon, CRA role is handling the heavy calls because there will be a lot of calls, a lot of meetings and constant site support required. So in a particular day, CRA will get anywhere around 20 to 30 calls. It will be from sponsor for non-compliance for recruitment. It will be for site for if they face any kind of challenges uh, in the operation as well as in technicalities. Again, there would be a lot of study meetings of different projects and different site. And also you have to provide your support to the site so that the trial is smoothly progressed. And this has to be done while keeping calm and make sure that the study is moving forward. So you have to ensure that you have a very quiet and cool mind. You absorb the pressure and you get the activities at the get the job done. So that is why I always suggest to people that whenever you enter clinical research role, try to see what exactly happens as a CRA and then move forward. The next challenge is meeting the visit requirement, the compliance and performance criteria every month. So a CRA has, as I've said, 10 to 15 visit every month, 10 to 15 days. He has to ensure that everything is in compliant. Every monitoring frequency is achieved. All the queries are done. All the site have been informed and the recruitment and retention is on track. While the CRA also has some performance criteria that he has to perform some activity that he has been assigned and this has to be done consistently each and every month. So this is again one of the major challenges. The next challenge is communication because it is one of the most important part of the CRA role and the communication with sponsor, CRO, site team for issue resolution within a short time frame and escalation is a challenge. Because the sponsor expects the activity such as data entry, query resolution to be done within a short span of time. You have to guide the site. You have to help them with data entry, the query resolution and guide them accordingly so that the timelines are met. So in this particular situation, you cannot shout at anyone or pressurize anyone, but you have to understand their problems. You have to explain your expectation and maintain a fine balance. So that is a challenge whenever you work as a CRA. Next thing is managing expectation because each and every stakeholders would set a certain criteria and have a certain set of expectation. So you have to manage the expectation of the sponsor. The sponsor will always focus on recruitment, on the data entry, on the site compliance, the compliance to the protocol. Again, the data management compliance, the monitoring visit sh uh, schedules, the subject dosing, the retention of the subjects. So CRA has to speak up to the sponsor, to the study team. He has to ensure that everyone understand what is practically possible, what are the expectation and what have we agreed on during the initial site selection and how are we going to move forward. So you cannot say no to everyone, but also you cannot say yes to everyone. You have to explain them what are the practical challenges and you have to come with a solution. Explaining them problems is not acceptable. You also have to provide viable solution also as a CRA. So that is again an art and a major challenge as a CRA. And while doing this, while performing these activities, these monitoring activities over and over again, you have to also take a step back and focus on your career trajectory also because there are changing circumstances each and every month and you have to focus that how shall I move forward from here if I start as a CRA, how shall I be CRA 1, CRA 2? How shall I go into the management role? What are the activities that I need to perform? What are the qualities where I need to perform? And how can I excel in this particular career? So these are the challenges of a CRA role. And 
each and everyone who are looking into this role has to look at it very carefully and manage those so that your career can move forward. A lot of people ask me, how does a CRA role or a CRA career move forward? So I again explain them whenever you become a CRA initially, it is essentially adaptation because no one will give you enough amount of time to get comfortable to travel and do a lot of activities. You have to adapt to the particular role of a CRA. Once you adapt to a role of a CRA, you have to survive there for a long period of time and give your best performance. And once you are mastered at your performance, you have to aim for progress so that you can achieve your progression in your career and in your life. So a CRA study start, career starts from adaptation, moves to survival and finally has to focus on the progress so that he can reach his particular goal and move ahead in life. For a CRA career, I would suggest that CRA is an experienced position. So try to be a CRC first, understand the job requirement because you're, whenever you go to the site, you interact with CRCs. So you have to know what happens to the site and what activities does a CRA do. And then you move ahead to the CRA role so that the expectations are very clear from the day one. Okay, so you don't get any pressure whenever you are a CRC turned CRA. So be a CRC first and then go for a CRA position. Next thing is that a particular CRA role requires a lot of multitasking and travel. So the mindset and the determination is required for this role. So if you are someone who loves to travel, but he can also handle the work and he is determined to complete all the tasks also, then and only then you can go into a CRA career and make a successful career out of it. Because multitasking and traveling ability is one of the critical criteria. Next thing is while traveling 10 to 15 days a month, you have to ma maintain your mental and physical health because I've seen a lot of uh, CRAs who are very tired mentally, who also lose physical shape because of the constant changing activities, the high stress, the change in food pattern, change in sleeping patterns. And you have to understand that this particular CRA role is a marathon. It is not a race. So you have to perform these activities. You have to plan your visit, your sleep, your meals accordingly so that you survive in the long run. So focusing on your mental and physical health is also one of the challenges of a CRA career and you have to focus on that. And you have to understand that this particular CRA role is a natural progression where you blossom into a project management role. So whenever you work as a CRA, you are handling sites. And whenever you work as a project manager, you are handling multiple CRA who are handling multiple sites. So once you get a hang of handling your site, you would be a better leader as a trial manager. So essentially you will blossom into that project management role. And once you handle multiple site, multiple stakeholders and their requirement, you would get a correct idea that whenever I become a project manager, what strategy should I use? What are the problems that a CRA face and how should I manage them? And while traveling all those time, while focusing on your career, you also have to focus on your family priorities. You have to take uh, time out of for family time and uh, providing this time is a major challenge and uh, it is one of the major bone of contention with all the CRAs that I meet on a daily basis. So you have to plan your family visit, outing, vacations very carefully so that everything falls into line and there is no uh, escalations, deviations uh, from the families also and uh, from the study perspective also. So managing your professional and personal life is also one of the critical part of a CRA career. And whenever people come to me for asking uh, CRE career advice, I again ask them to think very carefully because the CRA role involves a lot of activity which I have explained in both the videos and there are a lot of responsibility. So you must not only focus on the uh, fancy air travel, luxury hotels, the fancy food that the CRA get, but you should also think about what kind of responsibilities these people have, what kind of target and the task these people do. And based upon that, they give you all the facilities. And one of the basic principles that you should remember is 
if someone is giving you 50,000, 60,000 or 1 lakh, they will at least expect the work worth 10 lakh from you. That is how the world works. So if the CRAs are getting uh, flight tickets, fancy luxury hotels, cabs and everything, imagine the kind of task that the sponsor expects from them. So again, the, this is an experience role. This is a role which challenges you on a physical and mental level. This is a role which tests your determination, your ability to the core itself. So please understand what exactly a CRA role is and then only you step into that role because it is a gladiator pit in it and all the CRAs who turn into project managers are real gladiators who have faced all these things. So if you have to become a CRA, it is one of the amazing job. I would suggest you go ahead and do it, but make sure that you have your expectation very set and clear from the day one. So thank you for watching this video and I hope this helped you a lot in understanding CRA role and please uh, comment how did you like this particular session so that I can uh, come up with such uh, topics and activities and please subscribe to this channel so that it motivates us to bring quality content. Thank you.